I'd like to speak to you today about what do you see when you look? What do you see? Jesus said in this morning gospel, your eyes is the lamp of the body. In other words, your eyes is the window to the world. If you see beauty, you praise God. My dearly beloved, so I welcome each and every one of you this morning, especially the family and friend who came to attend the Ramallah convention and the Sidnaya reunion. We are reminded this morning what the scripture says, how pleasant it is for families and friends to dwell together in peace and harmony. I pray that God's angel will be with you as each and every one of you return to go home. To reflect on this morning gospel, our Lord said the eye is the lamp of your body and if your eyes are good, your whole body will be full of light. How true it is that our first encounter with anyone is with our eyes. Our eyes are a window to our heart. Our window to our heart. What we mean here is that some of us may have a dim eyes, but how well do we perceive everything? It's not enough to look at things. It's not enough. But how do you perceive them? How do you see them? This makes a difference between seeing God's image and likeness on everyone you meet, whether in the grocery store or Costco or in the church or at the gym. Or do you see others and you immediately judge them and condemn them and reject them? The question is, who will illumine your eyes? And the eyes in our understanding is really your heart. Only Christ will illumine our eyes. Saint Macarius the Great said, the eyes are the light of the body. And when our eyes are healthy, that means our heart, the whole body is illuminated. And when something gets into the eyes and they are darkened, then the whole body will become darkened. In other words, it darkens our heart. My dearly beloved, our eyes, our Lord teach us to see the good in others. And if we see good in others, then we relate, then we relate good, the spirit of others. Tragically, humanity begins when we see someone, we begin to judge them. Where are you from? Why are you dressed? How come you look different? And we begin to condemn them and judge them. And when you condemn and judge others, you be, become full of hate and all measures of evil. If you do that, you're missing out on the message of Christ. But if our eyes is the lamp of our body and our heart, our heart must project goodness hospitality, and acceptance, even when we disagree with them. 
even when we disagree with others. Yes, my dearly beloved, what do you see? What do you hear? Every Sunday, Christ offer his life and enlist each and every one of you for a mission of joy, to be a light to the world which come to us through prayer. The light of Christ comes to us through hymns, through the gospel, through the epistle, and above all, through the Holy Eucharist. In a few minutes, the altar boys and the clergy will walk before you and you will hear the word all of you, may the Lord God remember you in his kingdom to bless you, to encourage you, and to call upon the name of the Lord. We pray for those who are in the church and those who are absent from the church. We pray for peace in the world and those who do good works in this holy church. So in other words, Christ, our Lord, is calling each and every one of us to his kingdom, not only the kingdom to come, but today, it's here. The kingdom that he gave us every day. And his kingdom is a kingdom of joy. We live in a world politically and socially divided. Don't become statistic. And it trickle down all this division to our families, to our friends, to members of the same community, the Lord is asking us not to accept and embrace everything we see and hear if we stand as a role model of gentleness, goodness, people begin to see Christ in each and every one of us. And maybe the world will change little at a time. Little at a time. This morning, our Holy Church is calling upon us to be united, to place our treasure where the Lord desires, to place our intention where it can build the body of Christ and to always place our hope in him. So what do you see when you look at each other and at the beauty of this church? We welcome you.